the instructions for installation and operation of ultrasonic welding system for surgical masks. Precautions for component installation. A set of intelligent digital ultrasonic welding system component including intelligent digital ultrasonic generator, transducer, flange, and welding head. We install the transducer as follows. Precautions for transducer installation. Install the upper circular gasket on the horn. Install the circular flange on the horn. Hold the flange with one hand, put two semicircular gaskets into the groove in the horn and adjust the position. Put the semicircular steel press block in the flange and adjust the position. Tighten up the screws in proper order from the bottom up and then pre-lock the screws first, but don't lock them too tight. Ensure that the upper and lower gaskets in the transducer are concentric. Keep the rest parts of the transducer out of contact with the flange except the edge. Finally, tighten up the flange screws to completely assemble. Screwing Sequence Pre-lock the screws diagonally first, then pre-lock them tight diagonally, not lock tight, and finally lock them tight diagonally. Apply industrial Vaseline to the welding head end face and the horn end face. Tighten the transducer to the three jaw chuck after connecting it to the welding head. The connecting screw rod shall be mounted in the welding head first. Connect the transducer to the welding head and then tighten it up with a force of 175 newton meters. Tighten the screws up after assembling the transducer with the mechanical connecting plate. Adjust the welding head and the connecting plate to ensure that both faces are completely parallel to each other. Precautions for flange installation. Screwing sequence. Pre-lock a group of screws diagonally first, then pre-lock other screws tight in sequence diagonally, not lock tight. And finally lock them tight diagonally. Ensure that the flange, the gasket and the transducer are concentric. Keep the rest parts of the transducer out of contact with the flange except the edge. Precautions for welding head installation. Clean up the stud, the threaded hole and the mating face to ensure no dirt on the surface. Then, apply a small amount, less than 1 gram, of grease or industrial Vaseline to the mating face. Attention! Do not apply the grease or industrial Vaseline to the stud or in the threaded hole. Adjust the torque wrench to 175 newton meters to lock the welding head tight. Adjust the welding head in the side of the connecting plate to ensure that the two faces are parallel. Back Panel and Connection Instructions Power Cord Connection Connect the single phase power cord correctly. Connect one end of the power cord to the power supply port on the back panel of the Intelligent Digital Ultrasonic Generator and the other end to the power supply socket. Make sure that the power supply is fully grounded. External Control Connection Connect the run button to the external control port via an aviation plug to achieve external control. Communication Port Connection – Optional Function The communication port adopts RS-485 and RS-232 interfaces and supports Modbus RTU standard protocol. Connect the aviation plug end of the transducer's connection line to the output line port on the ultrasonic generator's back panel and the other end to the ultrasonic transducer. 
With the Aviation Plug Pin 1 connected to the transducer's positive pole and the Aviation Plug Pin 2 connected to the transducer's negative pole. Attention! After connection of the power cord, press down the power switch to provide normal power supply for the generator. Function Description of Intelligent Digital Ultrasonic Generator Front Panel Description Power Indicator Light Yellow The power supply is normal when the power indicator light is normally on and the LCD displays normally. Running Indicator Light Green When it flickers, it means the generator is searching frequency automatically. When it is always on, the generator is running with ultrasonic output, and when it goes off, the generator is not running. Error Indication Light Red When it is always on, it means the generator system is abnormal and in alarm state. And when it goes out, the alarm status is lifted or the system returns normal. Operating Process Connect the power cord the transducer's connection line in the external control switch and turn on the power switch. Select Control Mode. Enter the function setting interface and click the display box of Control Mode to switch the generator's control mode automatically. Automatic Mode. After you pressing down the run button of the control port, the running indicator light begins to flicker and the generator begins to search for the transducer's resonant frequency. After the resonant frequency is found, the running indicator light becomes normally on and the generator starts to work at the resonant frequency. After you releasing the run button, the running indicator light goes out and the generator stops working. Manual Mode Click on Frequency to enter the operating frequency manually and press down the control port's run button. Then, the running indicator light becomes normally on and the generator starts to run at the manually entered frequency. After the run button being released, the running indicator goes out and the generator stops working. Display Screen Interface Description Boot Interface After startup, the system enters Interface 1 first and then enters Interface 2 in 2 seconds. Real-time interface. It displays the power setting. It displays the current output frequency. It displays the control mode currently set by the generator. It displays the current working status of the generator. S. Stop working and R. Running. Click the setting icon in the upper right corner of the interface to enter interface 3. Password input interface. This interface supports entering a password of no more than six digits. The password is 168 by default and can be set by the customer in the Password Modification Interface, Interface 8. After entering the password, you can add and change your password in the Password Modification Interface, but the initial password 168 cannot be changed. Click the OK button after entering the password. If the password is incorrect, you will enter the function setting interface, namely Interface 5. Otherwise, an error message will pop up, that is Interface 4. To return to Interface 2, please click the ESC button. Main Interface By clicking Real-Time Interface, you will return to Interface 2. By clicking Function Setting, you will enter the function setting interface, namely Interface 6. By clicking Advanced Setting, you will enter the Setting Interface, namely Interface 7. By clicking Password Modification, you will enter the Password Modification Interface, namely Interface 8. Function Setting Interface You can enter the power manually by clicking Setting Power or increase or decrease the power at an increment of 1% within the range of 1 to 100% by clicking plus and minus respectively. By clicking the display box control mode, you can set the generator working mode to automatic mode or manual mode. In manual mode, you can enter the generator's operating frequency manually by clicking the frequency. In automatic mode, the system will start searching and displaying the resonant frequency automatically after you press down the run button. Equipment status. 
S. Stop working. R. Running. By clicking the return icon in the upper left corner, you can return to Interface 5. Advanced Setting Interface The starting frequency sets the upper limit value of the frequency search range, which shall not be higher than 22,000 Hz. The termination frequency sets the lower limit value of the frequency search range, which shall not be lower than 18,000 Hz. The current upper limit sets the upper limit of the current, which shall fall within 1 to 3,000 milliamps. The voltage upper limit sets the upper limit of the voltage, which shall fall within 1 to 1,000 volts. By clicking the icon in the upper left corner, you can return to Interface 5. By clicking the space in the upper right corner, you can enter the commissioning interface, namely Interface 10. Password Modification Interface The old password display box displays the current ordinary password. The default ordinary password is 1. By entering a password of no more than 6 digits and clicking OK, you can enter the password confirmation interface, namely Interface 9. By clicking the button ESC, you can return to the function setting interface, namely Interface 5. Password Confirmation Interface Click OK to complete the password modification. Then the system returns to the function setting interface, for example, Interface 5. Commissioning Interface Process of turning off the over temperature alarm function. By changing the sampling coefficient to zero after entering this interface, the over temperature early warning protection can be turned off in the working process. Steps for Commissioning of Surgical Masks Machine Production Line Implementation Conditions of Intelligent Digital Ultrasonic Welding System Check whether the air pressure is above 0.5 MPa Check the welding height. Appropriate measures that can reduce the welding height and the welding strength can be adopted. Check whether the ear loop welding cylinder goes down too fast. Measures that can reduce the speed appropriately may be adopted. Commissioning Steps and Precautions for Surgical Masks Welding Check whether the transducer and the welding head are locked tight. Torque 175 Newton meters. Check whether the shockproof gasket between the transducer and the flange is properly installed. Check whether the transducer and the flange are locked tightly. Check whether the roller is concentric with the roller shaft. Check whether the roller is parallel to the welding head. Make sure that the center of the roller is not at the edge of the welding head, otherwise the mask cannot be welded at all. Lift the roller, put the fabrics well into place and drop down the roller for false pressing. Adjust the pressure at both ends of the roller after the intelligent digital ultrasonic generator startup until good welding effects can be achieved. Commissioning Steps and Precautions for Ear Loop Welding Check whether the transducer and the welding head are locked tight. Torque 175 Newton meters. Check whether the shockproof gasket between the transducer and the flange is properly installed. Check whether the transducer and the flange are locked tightly. Check whether the welding head is locked tight by pressing down the welding head. Debug the nut at C and determine the transducer's height as shown in figure 28. Debug the gap between the welding rod and the welding head as 0.02 to 0.05 millimeters. Make sure there is no interference between the ear loop clamping jaw and the welding head. Check the length and position of the ear loop for accuracy. Make sure the chain of the control system is in place and turn on the ultrasonic generator. Insufficient welding strength leads to false welding or welding failure. Troubleshooting 1. Check whether an alarm is given, whether the air pressure meets the requirement, and whether the air pressure fluctuation is too large. Welding process of the ear loop. Check whether the air pressure of the ear loop welding machine meets the requirement above 0.5 MPa. Take care if the air pressure value does not meet the note that the air pressure may be lower than 0.5 MPa when the air pressure fluctuates too large. Troubleshooting. 
2. Use a hexagon wrench or a metal tool to test the vibration degree of the welding head and determine the vibration. If the vibration is strong, then determine whether the welding height of the welding head's contact surface is appropriate and whether the welding head is closely fitted without any gap. Check whether there is a problem with the intelligent digital ultrasonic generator or the welding head plus the transducer if there is only small or no vibration. Interchange the intelligent digital ultrasonic generator for manual no-load test to check its vibration. Check whether the welding head gets loose, as shown in Figure 25 and whether the screws get loose, as shown in Figure 26, if there is only small or no vibration. Troubleshooting 3. Check the welding head Check the welding head for looseness and check its location for offset, as shown in Figure 27. Too strong welding strength results in weld penetration, damage to ear loop adhesion. Check whether the air pressure is above 0.5 megapascals. Check the welding height. Appropriate measures that can reduce the welding height and the welding strength can be adopted. Check whether the ear loop welding cylinder goes down too fast. Measures that can reduce the speed appropriately may be adopted. The PLC control program of the mask machine is to start the intelligent digital ultrasonic generator first before pressing down the cylinder to prevent the transducer's back panel cover from getting loose due to instantaneous excessive shock. 